Hello everybody and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn. Today's funny intro, probably my favorite John Pierce noise of all time. Raising prongs! Ah, teetering and tottering! In Cambridgeshire, Iron Ore 2.1. A wedge with an axe and flipper, improved mobility and lower ground clearance this time, can penetrate 4mm steel, but it has a history of flying out of the arena, which isn't a help. So first up is Iron Awe 2.1, sent in by the Seaborg, but when he was still named Doodle. Now, before we get into any more with Iron Awe, this is the only Iron Awe I am doing, okay? Because I know there's a lot, there's six, there's seven, there's two, there's regular. We're just gonna do this one. There's no point in having the same bot appear like five different times now, is there? So, what has Doodle, now the Seaborg, gone with? He's got ram plates as the flipper, which is kind of interesting. Some weight there where they sit, so he doesn't tip as much when flipping. I see HPZ Tex motors, so he's gonna be pretty fast. He's also a pretty big heavyweight. And an iron spike for the hammer, for the axe. Should be a very good bot. Both weapons look pretty good. And this is not who we wanted to start with. Also, why does Emergency look like he's a tube of toothpaste getting squeezed for every last drop? When Emergency is made to look like a baby back bitch, you know something's wrong. Can't wait for your guys' bots. Are you gonna bark all day, little doggy? Or are you gonna bite? Jesus Christ. Maybe the number in the name Iron Awe 2.1 is how many seconds it takes for him to win a fight. I mean, if you don't want to move, I'll keep hitting you. I don't care, I poker. Jesus Christ! I gave him an ass tumor. He's got cancer in his ass. Easy peasy, constipation squeezy. There's a new one. It failed miserably. Oh geez, Iron Owl's getting too big for his britches, guys. Is that the only thing you can think of to say? You're worse than me. Again? This is the third final in a row that Sentinel has gotten to. Where is this where is this form come from? Too bad he lost all of them. Almost as bad as the Buffalo Bills. So it's time to grade Iron Awe, and he was pretty good in just about every category. Appearance, top notch. Those eyes were so damn creepy. Weapon damage accuracy. The flipper I thought was accurate, but I really didn't see them use the axe as often as I did. Now, I only used the axe when a bot was already flipped over and I wanted to get wheels, but that's another story. Um, don't know if it could have actually done any damage based on what ours did, so who knows. Fun to fight with, I like multi-weapon bots, because you get the option of flipping a bot over and winning it quick, or kicking their ass. And career record accuracy, 16-0, don't- Nobody fucking cheer. Not a single clap. We don't like this anymore. This is too often. It's not special. Fuck you, Iron Awe. From Hale. Crustacean. This version of reality means two large electric driven claws cutting at 500 kilo pressure. The entire robot is made of aluminium, a lazy meter turning circle though, and lack of experience for these debut boys. Next up is Crustacean, sent in by Evan B. Now I didn't know how to properly introduce Crustacean now that we have a crab bot. Should I show you the Honda Element commercial from years ago? I want to pinch. Hey, not so close. I don't want to get pinched. Why not pinch? Because it hurts. Maybe little pinch. Or should I show you a South Park Crab People segment? Crab people, crab people. Either way, here is Crustacean, the crab bot with the eye pinch weaponry. And he's got the wheels on both sides so that he is invertible. This was the bot I preferred. I actually had another Crustacean version sent in, but it was a lot bigger. This one seems more proportionate in size, so I chose it. It is still a heavyweight, and it is a light heavyweight, so I imagine Crustacean struggling um, as opposed to the success that we just saw with Iron Awe, but it is what it is. I'm just happy we got the crab! <laughs> Now how the hell is he able to drive me towards the pit spot? I'm underneath! Oh 
Oh my god, this is gonna be the death of me. Is it too late to pick another robot instead? God damn, this sucks. I'd find more entertainment watching Bar Rescue. Hell, even the Carbonaro effect would be better than this. Oh hey, I got the plow. But still! Don't you just hate seeing families fight? Jesus Christ, Crustacean, he's family! How could you do that to him? I have no soul! Ah, <sighs> lovely. Another three boring minutes of running into a bot that has a plow as a weapon. And you wonder why I get so crabby. <laughs> Come here, I want a pinch. Oh boy, oh boy. I picked with the wrong person. I pinched the wrong person! Do you see what you get when you mess with Grug. the warrior? I honestly don't know why I'm doing this. I know I'm not gonna win, but he's already lost fights. I've kind of stopped giving a shit at this point. I like booming. What do you think you're doing? Look out! Whoa, thanks, Snowjob. You really saved my ass there. Okay, you can stop. You already saved my ass. You can stop. You can stop! What good did that do? So it's time to grade Crustacean, and for the first time in a long time, the bot didn't get a very good grade. Appearance was, a, was really the only good, good thing going for this robot, but... Weapon damage accuracy? The weapons did nothing in real life, and we did some stuff. Career record ratio accuracy? Not even close. I think uh, Recreate had a losing record. Gameplay grade? Incredibly frustrating, because I had so many fights where it was just back up, ram, back up, ram, for three minutes, and that is not entertaining. It's awful, is what it is. Do you have a favorite Robot Wars robot that you want to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the robot's name below. Also, if you got more spare time on your hands, check out our Patreon. Link in the description. A lot of other cool content. Yeah! Stay down, Tornado! Quit like a 12-year-old after you're only down 2 to nothing on Rocket League after a minute. I'm coming at you like a dark horse. I mean, the term I would've used is dumbass. You can say what you want.